Welcome everyone. I'm going to walk you through learning the board in the station and what to do when you first walk in. So let's run the slideshow. Come on slideshow from the beginning and off we go. So again we're learning the board. Uh, enjoy this screencast and I strongly recommend taking notes so that you can refer back to what you have and uh, fully learn this material. What we're going to cover today, I'm going to give you, the first thing I'm going to show you is a big picture overview of the whole station and how that works. Uh, I'm going to give you some tips on when you first come into the station, which are really important. And then we're going to get into uh, the board overview, running the board, and of course I'll recap at the end. So off we go. Here's a big picture of the station, and I'm going to move from right upper through and down. So first of all over here you're seeing two things. You're seeing the phone. 1675 is the extension. You want to get phone calls coming in so you can put them on the board and we have that capability. We really like students using it. Here you can't see it great but there are a set of headphones here and the cord runs down and it comes up and it plugs right into the board right there underneath this gray strip. Headphones. I encourage you to use your own headphones and, and we have an adapter and again it would plug in right there. Up here is mic 2. This is for your guest, your partner. If you're doing a partner show that's great. You'll use mic 2. Uh, and then this one over here is mic 1. This is your primary mic. So you've got two mics. We also have mics 3 and 4. We're not going to show you those. They're around back. Up on top, these are your control room speakers. There's right speaker and left speaker. And so you've got two control room speakers and there's a volume that you control those with. Computer and a monitor. This is the station computer. It runs the stream. It plays our automation. It holds all our student shows. There's a lot going on with this computer here, but this is the station computer. The board. This runs your show. The keyboard, this will you allow you to function with this computer. Over here you see a second computer. That's somebody's laptop connected to the board and they're playing their own music. You can play your own music on two auxiliary channels. This is on auxiliary one. You see this little cord and you can't see it but it's coming into this computer. Also over here you see auxiliary two cord which plugs into any device, Android, iPhone, iPad, any device you can plug in and play your music on. Over here you see the CD player. There's two decks. Uh, this is CD deck one and CD deck two. So CDs are actually the best quality music that we have and we can play. If you have CDs I strongly encourage you to play them. And then down here lastly this is the call-in box. This is the box down here that you'll use to take call-ins. And so that's going to be helpful when we get to that point and you're taking call-ins and you're putting them over the air. When you do put calls in over the air you'll talk to them through the headphones. You'll, I'm sorry, you'll talk to them through the microphone and you will listen to them through the headphones. Let's move on. This is the big picture. This gives you everything. I'm happy to pull this picture up and answer any questions or take you right into the station and talk to you about any of these things. When you first walk in, first of all, come in quietly, but the first thing you do is you sign in. You have an entry log. You must sign in the entry log. And that's the first thing every person must do. If you're bringing in a guest, you sign in yourself and your guest. Next, pull out a playlist log. You might start to get that ready. Also, I think one of the next things I do is survey the board. What's playing from what source? And lastly, are we streaming? So in terms of what's playing from what source, Usually you're going to be seeing automation play through our computer out to the internet. Sometimes we have CDs, but most of the time if no one's in the station, it's going to be our automation. And then the last bullet is check the stream. 
And I'm going to show you that in podcast two, how to check the stream, what's going on in terms of are we streaming, is my voice going out over the air. We always want to be streaming. We stream 24-7. So that's an important thing to do when you first come into the station. Check the stream. All of you need to know how to do that. Let's get into the board. Here's a big picture of the board, and what you're seeing is, is you're seeing all 12 channels, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13th channel is for Collins, and so you're seeing all those right there. Um, what you're also seeing in this picture is the VU meters. This is VU meter 1. This is VU meter 2 right here. Most importantly, you're seeing the color schemes, which is green amber, red, and you don't see the red, and then these are blue, which means you're clipping. You always want your sound tickling the amber, not too much in the red, and certainly not clipping. So right now, we see the computer's on, and that computer sound is going out over the air, and it's tickling the amber. Let's keep going. Um, just some facts about the board, and I've already told you this. The board is, uh, some of these I've already told you, it's an Air 4 board. It's made by Wheatstone Incorporated. I showed you the VU meter and reminding you that you always want to tickle the amber. Um, there's 12 channels with a 13 phone input channel. There is also control room and headphone right over here. Uh, volume control. So this will control your control room speakers. This will control your headphone volume. Um, let's keep going. Overview of the channels. Let's look at these individual channels and let's go from top to bottom. What you're seeing in this picture is primarily where you're going to be, which is mic one, mic two, nothing, or mic three, which we you must have permission to use mic three and four, so they're not working, and they're not open for just anyone to use. Computer, auxiliary one, and auxiliary two. Let's go to the next picture, and let's work from top to bottom on this. So, in terms of operating a channel, the top button is an A slash B. Do not worry about that. It's not in use, and we don't worry about the A and B button. The next set of buttons are Program 1 and Program 2 and the Q button. So let's look at those. Program 1 is right here. It's on each individual channel. It's right here. I'm showing them to you. Here's Computer Program 1, Auxiliary Program 1. Program 1 is on air use. So if that's lit up, as it is here for the computer, that means it's on air and you're streaming. Program 2 is off air, and that's meant for queuing up songs, your mic, checking your mic sound. Moving down, Q button. Just like the AB button, we don't use it, and we don't use the Q button. This button, however, is your power. Really important. You must power up any channel you're using. Sometimes students get stuck because they didn't power up their mic chan their mic, or they didn't power up the channel they're using, and they get confused also because sometimes they hit the Q button, which is not in function, and they think they've powered up their channel. So um, just keep in mind, here's the power button. It says on underneath it. And again, going back to this example, you see the computer on. You see it going out over the air, and I've already shown you the VU meters. In terms of slides and where to put these slides, if you look right here, there's a white line. That's a good indicator of where you want it. Actually, the computer is way up at the top. It's way over this line. But generally, you want to be between 10 and 15 right here on this white line. You can see that mic is right about there. This one is a little bit higher. But that's where you're going for on the slide control. Let's see, where are we at? Let's keep going. Students primarily use mic one, aux one, and computer. So if we go back, you're going to be on your mic. You're going to be looking at and you're probably playing stuff from the computer. 
and then also playing from your own device. That's primarily 80% of where you're going to be. Um, when the microphone's on, I'm going to really encourage you to use your headphones. So when you're using your headphones, um, that allows you to hear yourself, what's going out over the air. I'm going to strongly encourage you to use your headphones. Also, when you put your headphones on, you do not hear the control room speakers. So just keep that in mind. The control room speakers cut out when you put the microphone on. Um, you're always reading the VU meter and watching the levels. Again, tickle the ambers. And really that becomes the skill of using the board, which is watching your levels. Not too much dead air, not clipping, and you know thinking about what you want to say and really monitoring your levels. Moving on, um, these are some of the transitions that you do. Most of the time you'll be transitioning from your player to the mic, from the computer to your player, from the computer to the mic. You will figure out that is the skill, learning how to transition and, and using the board to transition from different channels. Um, practice, this last bullet just says practice will get you up to speed quickly. So um, let me recap. Mic one, computer, and aux one and aux two, you'll mostly stay on aux one. Um, bus one is on air, bus two is to cue it up. Don't worry about the cue button, always power up your channel. And then here is your sound and running your level so that you get a good view, me view, view meter tickling the embers. Um, so it's been about 12 minutes, I'm gonna cut it off. I've shown you an overview of the station when you first come into the station, don't forget to sign in. And I've given you a board overview and how to run the board. And now I'm going to call it. And again, if you have questions, and I hope you took a lot of notes, you can uh, feel free to come in and ask. And I'll look forward to talking to you more individually.